Does it to not be able to have the choice when the game right and you have the in hand? Um, of course, when you have the passion, um, when you play the game of football, of course, you know, you want plays back, you know, you want, you know, you want opportunities. So that, um, the biggest thing for us is just trust, you know, trusting one another. Yeah, Offense, defense, just clicking. You know, at the end of the day, when we approach a football field, it's all about team. You know, we're all wearing the script A, we're all, as of today, we were all wearing white. Um, so it's all about being team oriented and just reflecting on each other. Were you petitioning the coaches to do an onside kick so you could get the ball back, or were you confident in the defense getting a stop there? Confident in the defense, you know, 100%, just confident in them. Um, just talking amongst uh, on the sideline, just trying to get the game plan. So whenever we get back on the field, we're clicking and moving in the right direction. So it's all about communication on the sideline with the offensive guys and just getting everybody on the, the same accord. You've been experiencing losses like this throughout your career. What do you maybe tell the younger guys who've never really experienced something like this before? Reflect and build. Um, I think that's so important for a football team um, because you know, of course, losing losing feels bad. You know, it's all about how you can reflect and how how you can refine and get better. And that's going to be so critical for us um, to have the 24-hour rule, regroup, refocus, and challenge each other to get better. You know, we know that we're not a finished product. We know that there's rooms to grow. And so for all of us, you know, all we want to do is continue to compete, continue to just acknowledge that we have short-term goals and long-term goals that's all still achievable if we have the right mindset, if we approach it the same way. Um, so it's so important that we just acknowledge that, you know, there's so much left for us to get better at. On the pick six, did you feel like the DB came through Ryan's back a little early? Uh, no, he did a good job. You know, I got to have better eye discipline and uh, read the coverage better. You know, that's on me. Um, I got to have more better ball dominance and protect the football. Um, so that's, you know, I take all ownership of that because I shouldn't put uh, Ryan in that situation. I should have um, got through my progression and moved on through, through my progression. Coach Shabor said he felt like there was good energy and effort throughout the week in the lead up to this game. Did you feel like that? Did you feel like you were focused heading into this? No, absolutely. You know, throughout the whole season, we did a really good job preparing having the right mindset, approaching it, you know, day by day, just trying to get better as a whole group. And um, the best thing about football is opportunity. You know, so now we have the opportunity to get better. We have an opportunity to reflect. And so this is going to be so important for us um, as a group. So really just channel in, you know, acknowledge that um, there's still room for us to improve and get to the best of our ability. You know, I still trust the guys in the locker room. That's, that's no question. Um, we just need, you know, opportunity like this um, to present itself so that we can reflect and build. Um, and I've been in this situation before, and uh, you know I know exactly what you know what we need to do just to continue to just go on the same path, and I'll be um, have the same mindset. Good questions, guys. Do you feel like it's after a loss like this, this, you find yourself thinking more about the big picture, or kind of reverting back to that like single game by game energy that you guys have done every single game? I think single game by game. Um, I think that's so important as we're going on this path. It just to go one game at a time, one game at a time. Um, you know, Coach Sheridan mentioned this to, to us. He said, one one game should be our best game. Each game that goes by, we should get better and better and better and learn from it, you know, no matter what. You know, that's, so, it's, that's what's unique about playing a game of football is that each of these defenses is giving us different looks. So um, that's going to make us better. You know, it's going to make us really ch channel in and try to have great eye discipline, have play with great ball dominance, um, and just protect um, each other as much as possible. So. Um, I think we just got to learn. We just got to grow. And just take it day by day. Last question. Malik Malik Malik. was pretty emotional there at the end of the game. How was he in the locker room? Well, I missed it. I mean, what happened? <laughs> the penalty at the end of the game after they converted the first down. And just curious how his reaction was in the locker room to the rest of the game. Oh, sure. I didn't I I even see it. But, um, you know, I think for all of us, you know, we just, um, you know, we, we put our all into the game of football. And so, um, we just, you know, it's just something that comes part of the game. You know, I, I love Malachi. I trusted him. Um, I know he's a great, tremendous leader. Um, he pours everything into this program. And so, you know, of course, you know, when we come into this game, all we want to do is be victorious. And so um, we just have to embrace um, the win just how, we, just how we, you know, take our losses, you know. Um, you know, as we were cheering last week, as we got to keep our head up, head up high just like we lose today. And so I think it's just so important for all of us to just learn about each other and not keep our head low. Thank you all. Appreciate it.